guys. Today we're gonna do something a little different. Um, this is kind of one of my real loves. I love using nature and taking what I've got and making my own supplies, making my own finished product, trying, trying just to use what you've got without spending a fortune. Um, I got this book a couple years ago. It's by Nick Nito and he's an organic artist. And we're gonna go through a little bit of it because he just inspires me so much on making pigments and other things. And then I'm gonna show you some fun things I did making a little art box. So one of the things he does in his book is he makes his own pigments. And I tried this about a year ago. You really, really have to want to do it. Taking crushed colored rock and smashing it down to nothing and then mixing in your liquids and, and doing that. It really is pretty cool, but it's a lot so of I tried work. to do something a little different in this little box. I used some of my DIY paints and you can see they were full in here. And when they dry, they definitely shrink down. So I'm probably gonna fill them some more. But because they're clay based, I thought, oh my gosh, that might work just like this watercolor. And then I just added some extra chalks. I had a bunch of these boxes and I just put little inserts in and did some fun things. Um, I love um, mark making brushes. You can put them in your inks or your paints and do, and do fun things. And we have some other flowers and things that grow in our yard. And when they have the soft center, it's really easy because you take an X-Acto and cut a little circle out and you can add whatever you would like for to make your brush. This one I used some dried flowers, but then I sprayed it and sealed it to make it a little stronger. And then if I want to use it with, with paints or inks, then I can use this as a marking brush. Here's some just different ones that we did with different brush stems even some little cotton balls. And then I used a little sponge and did it circular and put it in and then just tied fibers around after I glued these into their bases. This is just a sponge because I love to use sponges to make some different textures. This was a fun idea because I love my little cling stamps and the ones I use a lot. Like I love this jar and I love this clip. I carry IOD and in the transfers they have these heavy plastic sticks. So I just covered them with some fibers and wrapped it around and glued it on, added a tiny piece of wood in here, glued my cling stamp on and some fabric and stamped it and they stamp really great. Uh, and then some of the smaller little stamps that I love to use, I threw in here. So I put some things in that I really like to use a lot and it kind of just inspires me to get to work when my supplies and my things look kind of pretty and you can see we did some more stamping on here and added some fun pieces but when you find that you have time on your hands and you have a fun cute little box just add little cubbies and come up with your own art box thanks for watching guys